Hey guys, it's Javier with Brush Plus Roller Painting. And if you want to learn how to paint your baseboards, then stay tuned. All right guys, so the first thing that we need before we start painting our baseboards is paint, of course. So the paint that we always use for baseboards and trim, it's always gonna be emerald urethane trim enamel. Uh, it, I like it because it dries slow as allowed. It allows you to really, you know, get some good brush strokes. And it, um, it, it lays out and levels out really, really good. Uh, the next thing you need is a proper brush. So the brush that we're gonna be using is a pretty sprig. Now, the sprig is specifically made for trims. Uh, I know other people use like the mousse and things of that nature, and there's nothing wrong with that, or the angled brush, nothing wrong with that. Uh, I just feel like these lay out a little bit better. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is, uh, we didn't paint the walls, but we, you know, the people here installed on the floor, they installed a new shoe mold. So they installed a new shoe mold, we have to repaint the whole baseboard and shoe mold again. And as you could tell, the previous painter, he kind of went overboard. Um, usually you're supposed to paint right at the edge of the baseboard. They went, I want to say more than almost an eighth above the wall. So I mean, we can't do nothing about that now. So we're going to try to make it as, as even as possible. And we'll show you how to paint the, the shoe mode without uh, getting your, your floor dirty or having a place tape. So first thing you want to do is you want to load your brush. And I always say, especially the guys that we're training, uh, they're new with the uh, brush. You always want to be able to see what you're painting. So if your brush is going to be here, you want to be able to see underneath. So I'm, I'm able to see, so I get a little bit, I take off the excess. And then you're just gonna slowly just bring it on over. And it's very important on your trim that, that you move your arm and not your hand. So your hand is just a steady guide. So you wanna place it right in your area and just move your arm. We're gonna try to, you know, line up where they already had messed up, but you always wanna be able to see. If you can't see what you're painting, then most likely you're gonna not make a great line or get a good finish. All right, so take the excess. I'm seeing what I'm painting. Take it out about a foot. Take off the excess, lay it out. Sounds good. So again, you wanna make sure you have a good amount of paint on there. I'm gonna try to even that out. And I always say, your brush, when you're, when you're making a line, you wanna make sure your brush is horizontal. And then once you make your line, you're gonna come vertically and almost, I guess if you wanna, we say in Spanish, peinar, which means comb. You're just gonna comb out beautifully, nicely, softly. Just comb it out, that be, and then that way, it helps the paint level out a little bit more. So again, you get some paint on there, come to the top, make your line, get a little bit more paint. Lay it out horizontally, get the excess off, make your line about a foot out, and then you'll just come back and you'll just lay it out. And this paint is really good. It hangs really well, so you can really get a heavy coat on there. So again, get your excess off, make a straight line, move your arm, not your hand, Oh, and this, I think this is going to be a great example right here. You can see where they have a really nice wave here. So we're going to try to straighten that out. 
So they got a big wave here from the previous painter. So I'm going to take the highest point and I'm going to just ride it out. As you can see, by moving just my arm and not my hand, I'm able to get that high point and straighten that out a little bit. So again, I wouldn't paint this way, but we have to work what they give us. Work with what they give us. And so looking from up top, that line looks a lot better in that way. But take the excess off again. Move your arm, not your hand. Perfect. Now I'm gonna come and finish out the shoe mode. I got my line at the top ready. Get the excess off. Move your arm, not your hand. Lay it out. And you only need about two layouts. Two nice strokes. Good, take your excess off. I always put three fingers on the back of my brush and I hold it right around there. Maybe place my finger here so I get nice control. And then that just stays there and I move my arm once again. I'm not getting the floor dirty, lay it out. I always place my excess, my excess paint in the middle because that's where you're going to lay out. So again, move your arm, not your hand. And these little bumps right here, when you lay it out, it'll come out. Now, it's very important on these outside corners that you always finish your brush strokes coming out not in because if you come in you're always going to get a nice and big run so i'll show you again horizontal finish out the shoe mode coming out don't ever come in fill in those gaps lay it out and when you lay it out again out don't ever come in now i'll show you how we you know, come around this corner now and again, I'm never going to start the outside corners coming in this way. I'm going to start that way. And it's always important when you're moving to be able to see where you're walking towards. So always have your body forward, move in that same direction. You don't want to move backwards because sometimes there may be somebody or something behind you and you won't notice. So, okay. So we'll get our excess off. Make our highest point. Got that there. Again, I'll go ahead and go through and make our line. Move your arm, not your hand. Get a nice little line there. Now again, here, we're coming to another outside corner. So I don't want to start here. So I'm going to turn it around. Finish that out. Okay. Finish out. And you always want to be able to see. For those of the, you are that are left-handed, this position would be a little bit more comfortable for you, but I am not left-handed. I am right-handed, so. Lay out the excess, I want to be able to see. Come on line, move your arm, not your hand, okay? Lay it out, lay it out. And that's why I like these sprig brushes because the, the wall brushes, they will leave or carry too much paint. And in the case, that you do uh, get a little bit on the floor where it is a 5 1. And 
in, in the case that you do get a little bit on the floor, no worries, it's not a problem. Get you a 5-1, get you a really thin rag. Just place your 5-1 in the rag. Come in carefully. Clean it off. And that is how we paint baseboards, guys. If you like it, if you found it helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Check you out next time.